Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1080. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1079 and 1080, click on the link below the video. Wow, we got a great video here. This is the same column of data dump text string with letters and numbers we used in our last video, 1079. But this time, we want to actually get the numbers after the letters, either four or six letters, convert them to a date, and calculate the person's age. Now, we have an amazing online Excel team. And Bill, and I can never pronounce names very well, Bill S-Z-Y-S-Z -S -Z at YouTube came up with an amazing solution. Now, let's start from the inside of the formula and build it bit by bit. Now, the first thing is I want to notice that when we get our date, there's going to be a few problems. The first one is it's not four numbers for year, then two numbers for month, and two for day like we need to use our text formula trick to extract and create a serial number date. So that's the first problem. We're going to have to add, in this case, this is going to have to have a 19 at the front of it. But also, down here, this one still doesn't have enough numbers, but this one needs a 20 added to the front. Now I have speak cells on Enter. I'm going to turn that off. So we have a couple problems here. Let's deal with the fact that this one needs 19 and this one needs 20 first. I'm going to extract using the mid function. I'm going to say, hey, look there. We're going to go comma, start at position 5. And I need the first two numbers, because that represents years. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, we'll deal with the longer version in an if statement. We're just going to build our formula to work for the uh, underage people first. Now, what do I need to do? I actually need to convert that to a number. So I'm going to say plus 0, any math operation on a number stored as text converts it back to a number. We can see our alignment working there. Now, notice 99, that needs a 19. 0, that needs a 2,000. So I'm going to F2 and say if that right there. And this is kind of arbitrary. I need to pick a year. I'm going to pick 20. If that's less than 20, then what do I want to put? I'm going to put a 20. That means the year 2000 or later. Otherwise, add a 19, close parentheses. I've highlighted the whole column, edited it in the active cell. So I'll use Control Enter to populate that down. Now, look, it's got the 19, the 20 in exactly the right place. This should be 2003. F2. And now I'm simply going to join this and use the mid to get the rest of the numbers. Boom, starting at 5. And every single one of these numbers um, for the date is exactly 6, so we can hard code that in. Control Enter to populate that all the way down. So we got, whoa, there's our proper date. Now F2, remember, we're just working on the first part for underage people. Now we can use our text function trick. That is a value. Whoops, Control Z. Control Z only works one time when you're in edit mode. You can't go back multiple times. I got the value. And we're going to use our social security number, number formatting trick. In double quotes, 1234 dash 12 dash 12. In double quotes, that's a custom number format for social security that we're using to create a date from a bunch of numbers, right? Close parentheses, Control Enter to populate that down. Now, that creates it as a text string, but watch this. F2, any math operation on a number stored as text converts it back to a number. Control Enter, there's our serial number. If we wanted to just prove it for a second, Control 1, date, you got to be kidding me. So that got the dates. Now, I'm going to Control Shift Grave a Accent to remove that. F2, now. What are we going to do about the values? I don't want to actually have to run this whole thing. In particular, the text function can be slow. I don't want to have to run it each time. So I'm going to make an if statement. And just in our, like in our last video, I'm going to extract the fifth, fifth character and ask, are you a number? So I'm going to say, is number and mid. I'm going to extract just boop from that cell. The starting number, comma 5, 
How many characters? One. That's text, so we had to add 0, close parenthesis on the is number, and then comma. So this little thing right here will test. If it's true, that means it's one of these underage people, and that will work. Now, value of true, copy, come to the end, comma, control V. And the only thing we need to change is the 7. Now, wait a second. Let's think about this even further. If this person really is 18 or older, that means it should be a 19. So I actually, if I come to the text function, I do not need this if. Right, so I'm highlighting it there. All I need is 19. So I'm joining 19. I could even highlight this. I'm joining 19 to the mid. Control, whoops, I need a close parenthesis. Control Enter to populate that all the way down. Now that gives me the serial number. Again, we could Control 1, date, and check it out. Oh, that is so cool. Control Z to undo that number formatting. Now what do I need to do? Well, I need to take this date and take today, which is a bigger date, and subtract this date here. But wait a second. And then get years? Guess what? I'm going to use an old function, date diff, F2, date diff. This is an undocumented function. There is no screen tip right there that gives us the arguments. You have to know that the earlier date goes first, and then comma, the later date. Notice the screen tip is not, whoops, it's not helping us. So I'm just going to have to know. I'm going to put today here. That way it will always calculate. Today is a volatile function, by the way. So it will take today subtract uh, that calculated date, and then comma the third argument in this function right here. No help at all. We need to say year, so in double quotes. I just want to calculate the difference, the date difference in years. Control, Enter, and there are our ages. Wow. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Bill. All right, we'll see you next video.